Está como pieza de una mancha. Guaripeta Solutions presents Ubuntu Café. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I need you in order for me to be me. As you need me in order for you to be you. Ubuntu significa soy quien soy porque somos todos nosotros. Hello, my name is Juan Rodolfo and this is Ubuntu Café. This is the 13th uh, episode and this is the 13th episode of the second season and is dedicated to the book uh, Para Español Para Español o Prima 2 Speaking Spanish in Times of Xenophobia. Uh, this book was published in 2018 and it was uh, Donald Trump was the president of the US and a uh, bunch of stuff happened uh, under his presidency locally ended and, and uh, the, the new president is a uh, uh, belongs to the uh, Democratic Party Party of the US. And uh, I and in, in, in the in the in introduction or the preface of the book I, I wrote as a ride share driver waiting for somebody to show on the app, I had plenty of time to meditate about important subjects difficult to solve since the beginnings of humanity. Like for example, who was first, the egg or the hen? After years of discussion, research, and study, I came to the conclusion that nobody knows and nobody will determine who is immigrant or national. Since the evolution the theory comes with the cell growing and evolving from, from it through early apes, then the homo, homo, the homo, the homo habilis stage of the Pliocene age, including the Ardipithecus and Australopithecus, The Pleistocene age, starting with the Homo erectus, exit from Africa and early far use, following the Homo heidelbergensis, the Neanderthals and the Homo sapiens, which characterize as modern human speech, as published on Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Some religions still believe that there is a God who created a man, then took out his sleeve and made a woman in some place with unknown coordinates, named Eden. Then the woman ate an apple, a snake gave her, and then they both were kicked out of, from that place and sent somewhere else. Even if I believe this theory, who can answer me who is the immigrant if they then began to populate our planet with their descendants? These days, Sales of tiki torches and white bedding sets skyrocketed thanks to radical nationalist nerves stimulated by leaders and small groups around the U.S. and other developed countries in East, West, North, and South, setting the public stage to the spread of hate, speech, and crimes. But it's not bad to be here in the U.S. and speak other language, be fat, non-white, and ugly like me, How does the U.S. thrive with a population of 329 million humans and around 350 languages spoken? Then, in my research, uh, uh, I re I, 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 in the book, I, I share the preface, uh, part of the, or, or what I, I already read. Let me use this. Uh-huh, this says this looks better. Uh-huh. I follow me. I, I'm actually I'm actually living in Huntersville, North Carolina and working as an entrepreneur. And depending on my finances, go and drive to make some cash flow thanks to the right share economy. And I started to notice notice the frequency of the question. Where are you from? Uh, when people get into used to get into my car when I, I was driving for these people uh, as a right share driver. Uh, which is like the frequent 
question when you are some professional or academic environment. What are you? An inquirer which response mm, an inquirer which response would be I'm an engineer, I'm a doctor, I'm a paper hanging on my office wall, I'm a human. You moron, don't you tell? But this is not his or her fault. It's the way the society raised, raised our parents or our parents. And their parents raised them as a consequence of the Industrial Revolution and sent a bunch of humans to their homes for a lack of a diploma or a title. So they adopted the cruel sentences. The cruel, or parents adopted the cruel sentence. Study. So you will be somebody in life pushing to the margin those to who, who could not get a diploma or a ta or title or simply wanted to be any other thing than a student to satisfy the, their parents' family society standards. The question should be, are you familiar with this job? Yes. So, the question, where are you from? May have infinite, infinite uh, reasons. Curiosity is breaking to start a conversation, sympathy. You are a human behavior daily student like me or racism. Ra racism. I used to answer, I'm from Venezuela, South America, and blah, blah, blah. One of the first jobs I was able to take as Uh, as an immigrant, uh, was plotter operator in a decal factory because I speak English and I was and was supposed to understand the instructions of the lady in charge of the area and the use of those machines. I remember that one day she asked me, "Are you American?" And I answered, "Yes." Her face changed, changed expressions from "You immigrant? What the heck?" and remade the question. She remade the question. American from where? I, with the ironic smurf sitting on my right shoulder, uh, said Venezuela and shot back again. Where is, and she shot back again. Where is Venezuela? This time with a superwoman bracelet, I repeat her bullet answering South America. The room lights started tilting like stranger things, and it already became into Hugo. Uh, weaving the, uh, into Hugo Weaving, the agent Smith of Matrix, and with his uh, 0.50 shot. But I paid taxes, and with the new slow motion speed I filed in on my back to avoid the bullets, I answered, I do pay taxes too, also. I'm paying them since I bought my first airplane ticket to the US. I stood up and I went back to my plotter. The agent Smith released her body and she came back up to her, to her plotter. Anybody in this country that takes money out of his pocket to buy even a water bottle is paying taxes. Only the richest, even making rivers of money, cheat on the IRS. I was born in Venezuela, visited Colombia and Ecuador, and never experienced racism for being black or aboriginal or white. In fact, my mom said I used to call me Negrito, which means something like little black, because she's white. My dad, Eladio, is brown, so she had two whites, Gustavo and Gabriela, and two blacks, two blacks, Katiuska and me. Being back there, I heard from the... Being back there in Venezuela, I heard from the KKK barely in his history class or in the movie Oh Brother, Where Are Thou, which I like so much, is one of the few movies I can see again and again. I was sure that was a thing of the 19th century, but surprise, surprise, I came to the U.S. and the KKK is like Dunkin' Donuts everywhere. Thanks to Trevor Noah, John Oliver, Bill Meyer, Lewis Black, White Senek, Michael Moore, Noam Chomsky, and others, from comedy to seriousness, I've expanded my points of view of the world we live in, and especially enjoy the Bill Maher chapter called Trump, Trump's Wall of Lies that inspired me to gather the data and publish this book where he goes like, the problem is Trump, Bill Maher says, the problem is Trump fans don't, the problem is Trump fans don't want a fence or a river or a vir virtual barrier. They want a fucking wall because a wall represents an impregnable barrier that keeps out not just Mexican, but everything that makes them feel antsy about the old America that is slipping away. The wall is like one of those prescription drugs that blocks the causes of your discomfort. Yes, 
Now there is Mexicon. Mexicon has been clinically proven to reduce the pain caused by foreigners entering the country illegally. Mexicon works with your natural your natural ability to construct a wall that keeps immigrants from cheap whole countries out of and good paying jobs. In so you can back cleaning your guns and sending or, or sending out Facebook memes of Hillary getting hit with a golf ball. Except it doesn't work that way. Most illegals don't even cross the border. They come here to the same way you go back to from Cabo. They catch a flight and then they just stay like the Australian or on your couch. Even Trump admitted the wall was bogus when he was caught on tape to, to a call to Mexico's president says, saying the wall is the least important thing we are talking about. It was always just an applause line that got off of a hand. So there you have it. The wall with no, will no help with employment. It's not feasible to build. And even Trump knows it's bullshit. And if all of that isn't enough to deter you, let me add it. Let me add these Trumpsters. You don't need it because everything that the world represents, the bigotry, the racism, the ignorance, the paranoia is already in your heart. Yes, the world has been inside you the whole time. Trump just brought it because, brought it out because he's the jackass whisperer. But you don't need it. Every time you vote for a child molester because The other child, the other choice is a Democrat. The wall is there. Every time you feel rage because a voice recording says for Spanish press two, the wall is there. Is there when you begin a Facebook Facebook post with I'm not a racist, but and is there every time an unisex bathroom makes you hold hold it until you get home? Is there when the snow makes you deny global warming? And is there At the ball game, when two guys, uh, when two gays on the kiss cam made you throw up in your mouth, every time you use air quotes, every time you you use air quotes when you say the word college, the wall is there. Is there when you use you as a verb, and is there every time you're Tucker Carlson? So you don't need a wall because you see, even without it, you're still the grumpy asshole who ruins Thanksgiving. This is not normal. Not even most. Uh, not even most be a real thing. That's why, with the exception of this racial customer, veteran black gentleman who served to U.S. military, deployed in Rwanda, the years of genocide, Wesley asked me, "What do you call home?" That left me without, with no ironical answers. But when somebody jumps into my car and asks, "Where are you from?" I answer, "Planet Earth." Science versus religion. What is science? Science is a way to understand na nature by developing explanations for the, for the structures, processes, and history of na nature that can be tested by observations in laboratories or in the field. Sometimes such observations are direct, like measuring the chemical composition of a rock. Other times these observations are indirect, like determining the presence of an exoplanet through the Gobel of its hot star, an explanation of some aspect of nature that has been well supported by such observations is a theory. Well sustained the theories are the foundations of human understanding of nature. The pursuit, uh, the pursuit of such understanding is science. What is religion? Religion or more appropriately, religions are cultural phenomena comprised of social institutions, traditions or practice, literatures, sacred texts and stories, and sacred places that identify and convey an understanding of ultimate meaning. Religions are very diverse. While it is common for religions to identify the ultimate, the ultimate with a deity, like the Western monotheism, Judaism, Judaism Christianity, Islam, or deities, The uh, they is not all do. They are non-theistic religions like Buddhism. What is well, what is the difference between science and religion? Although science does not 
provide proofs, it does provide explanations. Science depends on deliberate, explicit, and formal testing in the natural world of explanations for the way the world is, for the processes that led to its present state, and for its possible future. When scientists see that a proposed explanation has been well confirmed by repeated observations, it serves the scientific community as a reliable theory. A theory in science is the highest form of scientific explanation, not just a matter of opinions. Strong theories, ones that have been well confirmed by evidence from nature and are, are an essential goal, goal of science. Well-supported theories guide future efforts to solve other questions about the natural, natural world. Religions may draw may draw upon scientific explanation of the world in part as a, as a reliable way of knowing what the world is like, about which they seek to discern its ultimate meaning. However, testing of religion understanding of the world is incidental, implicit and informal in the course in the course of the life of the religious community in the world. Religious understanding draws from both both subjective Uh, subjective insight and traditional authority. Therefore, some people view religion as based on nothing more than personal opinion or blind faith. And so, as immune to traditional rational thought, however, this is an erroneous judgment. Virtually all of the historic religions include traditions of rational reflection. Uh, keep going. Uh and the chapter named the languages advantage i i found that uh one of the foreigner customers i had as a right child driver told me that his father was told him that the more languages he would learn the more businesses he was going to be able to make with the chinese economy getting stronger and stronger with the indians dominating the tech scenario and the Latino population increasing its size around the globe, it is imperative for English speakers to learn Spanish, Chinese, Hindi. Even though my son was arguing with me about the importance of German as a beast tech language. Uh, keep going by here, languages and brain, the non-English immigrant that comes into the U.S. needs to learn and make business in English. So now has two languages, increasing his competitive advantage against those who only speak one language. Becru published in an article in 2014 about the results of, an, of a study conducted by Penn State University researchers stating that learning a language will change the structure of the brain, making it more efficient, and these improvements can be experienced at any age. Every time you learn something new, you are strengthening your brain, just like physical exercise strengthen, strengthens your various muscles, tissues, and organs. The more you exercise in specific areas in the brain, the stronger and more connected those areas will become. The Penn State team decided to observe the brain, the brain activity of native English speakers as they went through the process of learning Chinese Specifically, specifically Mandarin vocabulary, vocabulary, vocabulary. They gathered 39 volunteers and varying, uh, varying ages and scanned their brains over a six-week period as half of them took part of in language lessons and the other half acted as control subjects. The participants were put through two functional magnetic rational imaging, MRI scans, one before the experiment began and then another one after six weeks, and the team observed the physical changes that occurred. The team found that, compared with, to the group that didn't participate in language lessons, the group that did had undergone several structural and functional changes in their brains. First off, their brain networks had become better integrated, which means They're more flexible and allows for faster and more efficient learning. They also found that those who excelled in the language lesson had more integrated networks than the brains of those who struggled even before the experiment had begun, suggesting that the ability sought out new things to learn, a 
an exercise the brain with. And to not to spoil the whole book, uh, I gonna let you know that the book is available on my website juanrodulfo.com is available on Amazon and most of the uh, library stores uh, all over the planet in the five continents uh, America, Europa, Australasia and Asia uh, you can do the query on the internet on Google Juan Rodolfo Books and you will find mine uh, remember you that you can also Uh, help me with the production of this uh, of this uh, podcast and YouTube channel by going into the description and if you if you if you want to help me you may go into Venmo or cash up or sell and send the amount of money you consider to be helpful for me I uh, appreciate you here and I hope to see you again in a new release of Ubuntu Cafe. Espresso coffee makers, grinders, tampers, filters, mugs, water bottles. Barista Pro is the paradise of baristas and coffee lovers. BaristaPro.shop is the online store with all you need to make the best coffee of your choice. Drip coffee, turkey coffee, vacuum coffee, cold brew coffee, capsule coffee, visit BaristaPro.shop now. Gorilla Travel is a virtual travel agency with a strong search engine that will help you find the best fares on air tickets and hotel reservations, cars, boats, bikes, and scooters rentals, tickets for events, concerts, and amusing parks, flight compensations. Visit GorillaTravel.com Gorilla with only one letter L and get the best deals for your next trip. Your product, service, or brand deserves a professionally designed website, cloud-hosted and securely protected against hackers and web pirates. Visit RogerFox.com and request a consultation on your project. We also build iOS and Android apps, online stores, YouTube branding, and more. Go RogerFox.com now to book our services. Looking for the perfect sex gift to amuse your partner? Vicky Toys is a discreet online sex shop with a huge inventory on. Love dolls, tap-ons, harness sex toys, dildos, vibrators, clitoris stimulators, bondage gear, anal plugs, condoms, lubricants, and more. Visit VickyToys.com.